We'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12. This is a super easy egg laying caddis that will float all day long. Let me just put a little bit of tying thread on that. Rid of that. Then we take some Glow Bright. The best way to do this is take a length, two fingers, if you can see this here, and we just wrap it around two fingers like this until we're done and then we cut it in the middle keeping hold of it and we have a nice bunch so we want a good length at the back here so we can hang on to it it makes it all much easier to handle afterwards so we'll just go back for the hot spot, the egg laying hot spot, like that. You can trim this off at the front, like so. What we need now is to put a whip finish in at the back here. Just one will do, just so we don't slide around when we make our dubbing loop. So we'll double over, like so. We tighten both ends close into each other, and then we can go back up the hook shank. Let's tie this down. Don't worry too much about that. I'll get covered with deer hair. We go forward. Now because we're spinning deer hair, we need a very heavy dubbing spinner. Just hang that loop out the way. Then we need some Comparadon style deer hair, a little bit stiff. And we take a Petitian magic clip and we slide it in like this. So we get all the clip filled with deer hair. And we cut it off with straight scissors. We take another clip and we place this clip onto the deer hair and release that one. So now I've made a clip with some razor foam in the jaws. I find this much better for holding deer hair. And what we want to do is place this on at an angle. So we get shorter hair at the top and longer hair at the bottom. Then we remove that so you have that kind of effect. Then with our long scissors again we trim this off so it's like that. Now we want the long part of the wing at the bottom of the dubbing loop and the short part at the top and you want to try and keep the hair as high up in the clip as you can so it's not a great distance from the hook. So, I just want to wax the loop a little so the deer hair has a little bit more purchase and we place our clip in, release the deer hair quite close to the hook shank there you can see, close those up and we'll spin up the deer hair. Give it another spin. Now a little trick here, if you can see, we need all the loop to be as tight as this here. We don't want to see any of the core. So you just have to keep spinning. This is why it's a good idea to use Dyneema. It's much stronger than regular tying thread. There we are. So what we can do now, we can just wind that in and then with each turn, we want to pull the deer hair back like that. I'll just move that bobbin out of the way. Just work our way forward and with each turn pull the hair up and back as you go forward. Like so. Keep 
keep on going. There we are. Let's wind up that bobbin and then we'll tie off the dubbing loop. Secure this well. Like so. Then we can remove that. everything back and up whip finisher give it a couple like so and remove your tying thread Now, holding the tail, your hot spot, use a dubbing brush and pull everything forward and out to the sides. And we can trim this off now. You only want a short tag. There we go. And we turn our vise upside down, take our idea hair scissors and we'll make a cut along the bottom. sides if you go in push the hair back you see I get the short pieces that I can just trim off a little bit more there but I think you're getting the gist of it now let's trim that off and that's the hotspot egg laying caddis it's really works well it'll float all day long and uh, is uh, is no trouble to tie at all you can carry on with this if you wish until you reveal as much body as you would like so it fishes a little deeper with a higher wing I think that's it. There you are. So, as usual, if you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.